So check this out. According to science, a shit ton of years ago, the planet Mars was actually just like Earth. But then, for whatever reason, it wasn't. Now, what if I told you that I could prove at one point the red planet was once home to a highly advanced civilization? Would you believe me? Get the fuck out of here. Let's find out. On December 12, 2021, scientists from the European Space Agency announced that during a scan of the Valles Marineris, a massive canyon system similar to our Grand Canyon, only 10 times longer, 5 times deeper, and about 20 times wider, their trace gas orbiter detected that 40% of the subsurface, basically the size of the Netherlands, was actually liquid water. And back in June of 2018, NASA mission scientists from the Johnson Space Center announced that the Mars Curiosity rover not only detected levels of methane gases within the Martian atmosphere, but that those levels follow a cycle in which they spike during the early summer, dip during the winter, and are most likely the result of the same thing that causes those exact cycles to occur on Earth. Microorganisms, aka organic life. My point. We know for a fact that a shit ton of years ago Mars was just like Earth and that today it exhibits the exact same characteristics that Earth would exhibit should it lose its atmosphere. One of which is absolutely key for life to exist and the other is evidence that life does exist. So it would be a safe bet to assume that life once existed on the red planet. Now all we have to do is search for signs that said life was intelligent. Now, I totally understand the concept of pareidolia and the human mind's ability to find shapes where none exist, but here's the thing. Nature and right angles, they don't really mix, and neither does perfect symmetry within geological formations, which is exactly what we're seeing in many of these photos suggesting the very real possibility that they were built, not formed. And that's not all, because many of these structures seem to bear an uncanny similarity to the ancient structures we find on Earth like the pyramids and Stonehenge. Plus, let's not forget that one of the first photos NASA ever took of the red planet depicted an an actual human face on the surface. So to claim that all of this is explainable by natural formations and pareidolia is kind of ridiculous when you think about it, especially when you factor in the just plain weird and unexplainable. Now, even though this next part is purely speculation, it is a bit trippy because believe it or not, Mars with an atmosphere is a much better fit for us than Earth. Let me explain. According to the smart people, the modern human originated about 200,000 years ago as a result of millions of years of evolution. But if that's the case, why are sunglasses even a thing? Or sunscreen for that matter? Think about it. Why are the rays of the sun so harmful to humans and really only humans? Because it doesn't seem to bother anything else, which doesn't make a lot of sense assuming we started and evolved here. Unless we didn't and we actually started somewhere else that's just a little further away where the sun isn't as bright and the harmful rays can't hurt us. And you know what else ain't gonna be hurting on Mars? You're back which is apparently an issue for most of us, but on the red planet, not so much, because the gravity there is a third of that on Earth, which is perfect for relieving some of that tension. And speaking of tension, our unexplainable inability to get a good night's sleep. Now this one's a little weird, but according to NASA, when their astronauts go into space, almost immediately they see a change in the individual's circadian rhythm, which increases from a 24-hour day to a 24.9-hour day, which exactly matches a day on the red planet and gives you, me, and the billions of other people walking this planet an extra hour of sleep. All of that being said, I want to get your thoughts about this theory, so don't forget to leave those down in the comment section below, and while you're at it, if you enjoyed the video, let me know you did with a like and a subscribe. As always, I appreciate you stopping by, hope I got you thinking, and I'll see you on the next one.